salads, those pesky salads. How do you eat one? How do you tackle one? What about the little chopped salads or the pieces that have really big lettuce in them? Don't worry, today I'm going to be teaching you salad etiquette. It's gonna be a good day, good day, great day with Micah Meyer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we have had so many requests for this one thing that we couldn't ignore it anymore. Salad etiquette. How do you eat one? What are the rules? Don't worry, today I've got you. So I'm going to be taking you through how to eat a chopped salad and also how to eat a salad that has bigger pieces. So say you have a big piece of grilled salmon or a big piece of kind of grilled chicken over the top. What do you do with it? How do you tackle it? Don't worry, today I'm going to teach you a few tips and tricks and how to use silverware when you're also eating your salad. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the chopped salad. So here we have a chopped salad. Now, when you sit down, you might notice you're offered a fork and a knife. Maybe you're at a restaurant or a private home and you're only offered a fork and it would look like this in terms of your table setting. This is most common when you're eating a chopped salad. Now, if you have both a fork and a knife, it's up to you if you'd like to use both. If you just have that fork, then you don't ask for a knife because your host didn't think you would need a knife to enjoy your meal. Okay, so let's say I go to a restaurant, I order a chopped salad, and this is how I'm served. So the first thing I do as soon as I sit down to a meal like a chopped salad or any kind of salad for that matter, is I look down at the meal and I decide if I need my fork and my knife to enjoy the meal. Now, if you're at home setting a table, you only ever need to set the table with the pieces your guests will need to enjoy the meal. So in this case, it's a chopped salad with very small pieces. So the answer would be no, I do not technically need that knife. Therefore, I don't need to pick up the knife. It stays in place. And with my dominant hand, I'm right-handed. So I would just pick up my fork and I would hold it prongs up. They call it tines in the UK. And it's very simple, just like that, one piece at a time. So what do I do at the end? When you're finished, you simply prongs up, lay the fork right about there. If this were a clock, this being 12 o'clock, the handle is about five o'clock. You do not ever place your fork on top of food, so you might just gently need to position it like so, even if you gently just put food aside so that the fork is prongs up at the five o'clock position. So what happens when you have a salad that has larger pieces that you definitely will need to cut. Well, then you should have your salad fork and your salad knife and you should use both. So here you see we have some pieces that are a little bit bigger and they're not exactly chopped. So if I'm sitting at a table setting, whether it is a home, a private home or a restaurant, I look down, I notice, yes, I definitely will need to cut this salad, especially if it had a big piece of protein, like a piece of grilled chicken over it. And I would then use both my fork and my knife. To pick up your silverware, you would simply put your salad fork in your left hand, your salad knife in your right hand, balance it on the index, and then it's index, wrap, and twist like that. Now, I did an entire YouTube video just on how to hold your silverware if you'd like a refresher. So now, I know that I'll need to cut or eat some of these pieces in a certain way. So what do I do? I can't because it's not a chopped salad anymore. It has too many larger pieces that I'll need to enjoy the meal. Therefore, you want to eat in a very certain way, especially when it comes to large pieces of lettuce. So what do you do if there's something too big on your salad, say a big piece of grilled chicken or a piece of lettuce, or in this case, spinach, that's just too big to put entirely in your mouth? You take it and you fold. And in you go. So you're making this perfect little package. Okay, so now we have a close-up version of a lettuce leaf or a spinach leaf so that you can actually see what to do if the piece that you're eating is just too big to put in your mouth like this. So this could be a piece of iceberg lettuce or a big piece of spinach. All you do is spear and fold, spear 
and fold and you make that perfect little package like that until it's bite size. Now, if you had a big piece of grilled chicken, you would just cut one piece of the grilled chicken at a time and eat. One piece and eat. So because you can combine two foods at once, what I could do is cut my grilled chicken and then I could add, say, a piece of cheese to it. So that is staying with the two foods on one mouthful at a time rule. Here's another example of a piece that's just too big to fit the entire thing in my mouth very neatly. So in which case, I will just cut it. And remember the rule, you can combine two foods at once so maybe I'll put a little piece of protein on that too. That's a perfect bite. Not too big, not too small. So what do you do with your silverware when you're just taking a break? Say I want to dab my napkin on my mouth or I want to take a drink of water. I simply take my silverware, prongs are facing down of the fork, and my knife, the blade is facing in, and it rests in an upside down V like so. Now, if I've eaten my salad with both my fork and my knife, where do I leave my silverware when I'm finished? You take the prongs of the fork, they go up, the blade of the knife goes toward the fork, and again, if this is the shape of a clock, this being 12 o'clock, the handles face at about five o'clock. See, that was so easy, and now you can practice at home, practice when nobody's looking, uh, and then make sure that you join us next time. We have another exciting video for you, but thank you for joining today for Salad Etiquette. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with anyone you think would enjoy it. See you next time.